Hi guys, what if I told you that this small device could test the state of health of your car battery and also test your alternator and starter motor, all in a few easy steps. Add my alternator die recently, which is part of the reason why I got this. This is the review and demo of the Conway KW208 car battery tester. I'm going to be doing a battery test. I'll also test the starter motor as well as the alternator. Now let's get this. I've had this for about two weeks and I've been using it obviously out of the box you have the device itself and then you have this small manual yeah pretty short read basic English it's made in China in terms of language a decent spread so build is decent I mean for the price that you pay has this alligator clips that's where it gets its power from so you connect this directly to the battery that you want to test that's the main menu so maybe just to say that as you can see from the packaging first you have this one with the white blue display then you have this green one I actually thought I was ordering the white and blue display but when but when it showed up it was the green so maybe just something to have in mind and probably I should have gone back to the seller but I didn't so four options first is to check which is where you used to do all the functions second is to review that's to look at your last results so that's it exit Se third is setup language contrast device test not necessary about software version hardware version serial number sorry for the glare let's go to the tests so it's in the vehicle so it gives you two options in vehicle and out of vehicle if you choose in vehicle you're going to have the cranking test and the charging test as well if you go out of vehicle you're not going to have those options because you're not going to be able to check those functions out of the vehicle yeah so back out where in vehicle let's do a battery test so it tells you that there's surface charge on the battery so surface charge is a false state of voltage that car batteries or other batteries typically have especially after it's been used or charged typically you need to remove the surface charge before you do any battery test so it says turn on headlights for about 10 seconds turn lights off headlights on clear the surface charge and then you press enter you select the kind of battery that you have these are the different standards for battery testing most common is the cold cranking amps however you need to look at what standard your battery is rated with as you can see this battery is rated with the en system which is more of a european thing we'll select that and then you select the rating 660 once your rating is selected you press enter so and it says we should replace this battery the en standard is 660 the test returned a result of 396 meaning that the state of health of the battery is at 60 percent so state of health is a measure of should i say how good a battery is and it's given in percentage so state of health of this battery is at 60 percent compared to its rated standard state of charge is at 98 percent so battery is well charged and the internal resistance is that value you see there so the higher the internal resistance the more resistance you would have to the flow of current in the battery it's actually been a couple of years since i got this battery so it's probably on its last legs however it's still working well so i'll wait until it starts giving me physical signs so we back out of this now let's do cranking test please turn off engine before pressing enter yeah so the engine is off we press enter it says start engine so this test is going to test the starter motor you don't want a bad starter motor i think that's the one that if it says it's weak then yeah you should be thinking of replacing it before you get stranded someday Yeah, and so it tells us that the cranking is normal. There isn't any problem with the starter motor. That's good news. So last test is the charging test. And this really analyzes different components of the alternator, the rectifier, the diode, and so on and so forth. Charging test. Raise to 2500 and keep it for 10 seconds. Then press enter to continue. Mm -hmm. Last 10 seconds. 
so we push enter so charging is normal and that's good news as it stands my alternator is good starter motor is also good battery is nearing its last legs however it still cranks the car, the car fine yeah so that's it guys i'll leave a link in the description should you want to get this thank you very much for watching if this has been helpful do leave a like comment does really help and cheers see you on the next one